What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we are talking about date and time actions, and we are going to talk about the add to time action. So, what is the add to time action? The add to time action allows you to add on an interval of time onto an existing timepiece. So let's take a look at that and talk about some of its uses. I'm in Microsoft Flow here. Uh, I've got the uh, the trigger um, here to trigger my Microsoft Flow, and I've got the current time action as well. We now click on New Step. We now go to Built In. We now go to Date and Time, and we now choose Add to Time. Now here we're we're, we're given three options base time, so the time you want to add to. So I'm going to use the current time from my previous step here. The interval, so you can choose what interval it is. Uh, it can also be dynamic as well, so you could have an interval from a previous step. So say, um, if you're trying to check a, an SLA on a case, for instance, you know the SLA is three hours from the start time of it, you could um, put that into here. Um, or we can just write in the number three. Next, we have the time unit. The time unit can be a second, a minute, an hour, a day, a week, or a month. And you can add on whatever sort of time unit you want onto that current time using these intervals. So we're going to choose um, we're going to choose three hours. So we're going to test this now. So at the moment, well, we'll, we'll show that. Um, so at the moment, the current time, according to the current time step, is uh, 1319. Now this is in UTC, so in the UK, I'm in British summertime, so it's currently, uh, it's currently two, uh, 219, 1419, not 1319. So if we expand the add to time step, we can see the inputs, so it's got the base time from uh, the current time input up here. It shows the intervals, it shows the time unit, and down here it's added the time onto that, so the output of that is 1619. We can then use that output in another step. So um, talking about the, the SLA um, instance earlier, if we know what the base time is and we take that from say a case and put that in, if we know what the SLA interval is, again from a piece of dynamic content or something you hard code in, we could have something that um, automatically sends an email to a manager if the um, you know to, to let them know what the SLA is, or maybe if it's like reaching that SLA sort of step. So, what do you guys think? Are you going to use this um, this action in future? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time.